Well, there are many things I admire about Scratch, so it's hard to pick just one thing. But if I had to highlight sort of my favorite aspect of Scratch and participation with Scratch is it would be the, the Scratch community. So you have hundreds of thousands of kids, you have tens of thousands of teachers, and that's just in formal school settings, but being used in museums, libraries, all sorts of settings. It's the passion that people bring to their Scratch activities. <laughs> well, actually, this is maybe not very imaginative, but I hope that the future is much like the past in some ways. I mean, what has been so amazing about Scratch, as I mentioned, is, is the community and the passion that people have brought to their Scratch activities. So I hope that continues for many years to come. So I first joined this MIT Scratch team in 2007, and that was just when the online community had been launched, and I was really excited to see the activity that was taking place. But Scratch, the website, is primarily about kids creating projects and sharing those projects with other kids. And when I started talking to teachers, they weren't exactly sure what to do with the Scratch online community. It was an amazing source of inspiration, of things they might want to do, but they wanted other ideas. They wanted ideas for lesson plans and they wanted to talk with other teachers. So I decided to build a companion website to the main Scratch website called Scratch Ed. Scratch Ed was launched in 2009 and since then more than 9,000 teachers from all around the world have joined and are sharing their stories, exchanging resources, asking and answering questions, and connecting with other educators. Computers are everywhere, sort of stating the obvious, <laughs> and code is the language of these machines that surround us. So I think there's a, a, an interesting argument to be made about understanding the world around us in a more compelling and profound way by understanding the language of the machines that surround us. So by learning how to code, you learn how to express yourself in new ways. You're also learning new ways of thinking. So it's a, a tool in your cognitive repertoire that's really powerful of thinking systematically and. Uh, that's something that's really valuable for everyone to be learning. I think when I have interviewed kids over the years about their experiences with Scratch, it takes a lot of effort and energy and determination and persistence. And I think these are really great qualities to be practicing. A lot of school experiences don't give kids the experience to take on big problems that they've defined themselves. And kids who are working with Scratch, they use their imagination to come up with problems and create you know, um, things beyond our imagination. And so having those opportunities is incredibly valuable for young people, not only today, but well into the future. So the conference so far is amazing. <laughs> it's just started, but the, the venue is epically beautiful. I was saying to Mitch when we arrived, you know, I think the Media Lab is a pretty special place and I've loved hosting the, the conference there, but this is just such a creative, playful, imaginative space and I just, I can't wait to see what happens over the next couple of days. I predict it will be completely magical.